Hello and welcome to uh, our live stream. Um, so, <laughs> who are you? Who am I? Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I just I just walked in. Oh, good. Um, hi, I'm Peter Schneider. This is Nick Houston, and we're here to talk about auto mixing. Um, so, uh, you know, I think one of the things that uh, really has has grown in use over the last few years, especially in the location sound side of the industry is some kind of auto mixing. So I think the first thing is we should sort of jump up to 30,000 feet and talk about um, what, what's auto mixing. Okay. Um, or mix assist as sometimes mix, people call it. Mix assist, right. And even the term has some controversy, right? So um, just to, so to define what it is, it's any algorithm um, that based on incoming sound um, adjusts the levels uh, to create the least amount of gain in a system overall. Um, so on a, on a per microphone basis, let's say, per input basis. Um, so essentially when, uh, you know, when it's, it, it's some kind, instead of a gate where it's just, you know, the microphone or the track will reach a certain level and then it will open, which could potentially overload the output, it's seeing all of the different things inside each input or that's coming into each input and using a sophisticated al algorithm to create the best sound right. that and not, it can. Not all um, mix assist algorithms are sophisticated. Some are more sophisticated than others. Um, and we're going to compare a few of those different algorithms. Um, so let's talk about the controversy, right? Auto mixer, um, I think, has um, some controversy around it because it has negative connotations. Right. Um, you know, it is not. Um, taking the mixer, the human mixer, uh, out of the equation. It's um, assisting them. And so I think that's where you start to see this term mix assist, mm -hmm. um, which is a little bit more user friendly. I think, um, I, I remember as this technology was coming into location sound use, um, you know, people were um, upset that, you know, a producer might say, well, what do I need the person for if I have the algorithm? So, and in any case, it doesn't um, replace a person at all. Um, a person very, very much has to be in control um, of the, the mix assist, um, at least in terms of um, planning, at the very least, um, when to use it. So let's talk about some applications. Yeah. Uh, so where, where it becomes really useful is when you have tons of mics open, uh, you know, reality television, live shows, um, you know, even, even some scripted. Um, you know, where it can be really difficult, uh, especially with, with improv uh, or reality, where it can become difficult to try and mix, uh, you know, that many different mics, you know, where uh, you turn on auto mix or mix assist or whatever algorithm you're using, and, uh, and it can really help to cut down on your background by not having all of the mics open 100% all the time. Yeah, why, and so why is that a bad thing? Why, why do we have all of these? Why not just let, leave all the mics open? So, um, you know how you and I are both wearing mics now, right? Uh -huh. So my voice is on my mic, and your voice on your voice is on your mic. Uh -huh. But your voice is also on my mic, and my vi my voice is also on your mic. Yes. So um, the more uh, so your mic is in a great spot for you, but not so much for me. So if your mic is open and my mic is open, it's going to make my voice sound more hollow, and vice versa for you. So instead of getting that nice, rich sound. Um, you know, having them both open will make it, you'll hear more of the room uh, sure. in that. So when you've got, uh, you know, when you're mixing for, for the two of us, if you're going back and forth between the two of us, uh, you would get a much more rich sound as opposed to just leaving them both wide open. Wide open. Sure, so it's, it's both the, uh, the signal, the voice is on both mics, mm -hmm. and the noise is on both mics. Exactly. And a mix assist algorithm or an auto mix algorithm um, seeks to minimize the number of open mics. Right. And it's, um, you know, if you think about an algorithm, it's kind of on autopilot, whereas, you know, for if a mixer was just mixing a scene between you and I, you know, they could probably handle just two faders going back and forth. But when you talk about six, seven, eight, twelve, you know, fifteen mics uh, potentially out in, in a scene for reality television or something like that, um, that can get really overwhelming. Sure, or even if there's unpredictable dialogue. Mm -hmm. Often, especially in reality, yeah. the mixer is not able to see what's being shot. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, what are they supposed to rely on? There's no script, really. 
Um, they might have stuff they have to say, but there's no script. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that these algorithms can, can help. I also found that it was particularly useful. Uh, I used to use the mix assist on the 788, uh, even in a two person scene, if we were doing something that was in a kind of a noisy or hollow environment, mm -hmm. because it would just very, you know, very quickly s switch from one to the other uh, so that not both people's mics aren't open, so we're not introducing double the noise from the environment. Sure. Uh, and I think, too, we should um, talk about two things. One, mm -hmm. um, there's a huge um, use of mix assist or an auto mix algorithm mm -hmm. in re sound reinforcement, mm -hmm. right, yeah. where um, a concern is gain before feedback. Yeah. So, you know, if the more open mics you have, the less, the less gain you have before you get feedback. Um, therefore, the less you can amplify the voice. Um, auto mix and mix assist algorithms really help to reduce that Definitely. Um, f danger of feedback. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think we also, you know, there is the father of auto mixing. I think we have to pay homage and, and give a shout out to Dan Dugan. Dan Dugan, which is kind of why we're here today. Mm -hmm. I mean, the real reason we're here today or the, where the idea came from to do this uh, live stream is that, you know, the 688 uh, and NAB came up with uh, new firmware, uh, version 3.01 now, uh, that includes not only sound devices, proprietary mix assist, but also uh, the Dan Dugan auto mix. Yes. Um, and so today we, we hope to compare a couple of the algorithms. Um, we we uh, record a scene, I wasn't there. Uh, I'm setting that he up. He didn't do the recording. I'm setting, <laughs> so also setting it up because we're, we're going to do a couple things. One is just a flat pass where nobody touches the faders, neither human or algorithm. Um, then uh, we're going to do a pass where I attempt to mix uh, the scene um, more or less cold. Um, and then we're going to let uh, Dugan, the Dugan algorithm in the QL1 um, take over and the Dugan algorithm in the 688 take over. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we got the mix assist yeah, algorithm. And then we'll the show off the mix assist on the 688. And so uh, this is a live stream. So obviously sound quality is, is only as good as the compression, but people will be able to download these. Is that, is that the idea? Yeah. So um, Jared, take notes. Eventually we'll cut them up into uh, the five different kinds and people will be able to click and see, you know, this is this, this is that, this is the other thing. Uh, and to answer Jason M. Cuppig, hi, Jason, miss you. Um, the, uh, we're going to be using all five to demonstrate, so we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good. All right. Okay. So um, this is a scene. This was written by Jared M. Silver. He's available for hire if you uh, ever need anything uh, written last minute that's uh, comical and creative. Um, so here, this is the scene with uh, six. Oh, uh, set up for the scene. Yes. Um, we actually, after doing this, we got an email, or announcing this, we got an email from Dan Dugan himself, mm -hmm. who requested that we have a scene of at least six mics, so we have six open mics in this, or six microphones, um, with some, uh, what is it, perfume, he said? Right, some perfume, which uh, we, we took to mean a fan in the room. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so there's a fan in the room. Now, the reason he wanted a fan, of course, is because he wanted some constant noise that with heavy-handed faders, which you'll hear with my fingers, um, the fan will come in and out. Yeah. Um, and then he also requested sort of interruptions, and he really... Overlapping he, dialogue. He had a very strong sense of what would, um, you know, push different algorithms. Um, we should also mention briefly um, that the reason we're testing the QL1 Dugan implementation versus the 688 implementation is because um, part of what Dugan's, Dan's Dugan's algorithm does is it allows you to assign weight um, to, different tra to different inputs. Um, so if you have a quiet talker that you want to assign um, to uh, be more sensitive to the algorithm, um, you can do that in the QL1's implementation and his own products. But, um, for the 688, it's a little bit of a simpler implementation in that there's one nominal weight assigned to everybody. So we want to check if the same source material will sound differently. Okay. Um, so without further ado, yes. um, here is a scene that's been entitled The Future of Gotham, and go. And that's the last of the live streams for this month, so turn it to the website. Hey, guys. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Thanks for coming. Uh, what, what are these? Future Gotham. Now, if I can just get you to read the stage directions. What? Great. 
Uh, it is a dark and stormy night. A man, looking sick and pale, stumbles into the police station. That's you, and you'll be the death sergeant. I'd like to report a murder. Yeah? Whose? Mine. The man falls to the ground, all gasp. <gasps> I don't really see what this has to do Quiet, with- Quiet, I want to see what happens. And where do they all come from? Last I knew they were just two guys in there, and one of them just collapsed. Lightning crashes. Smash cut, cut to, to opening, opening titles. titles. Eh? Will that put butts in front of screens, or what? That's great, but... But what? My character feels underdeveloped. What? It's just that he's in front of a desk at a police station. Hey, he's at probably least you have room for character I mean, growth. Really, I've been there for you know, the teaser and I'm dead. I said one. like seven words. Two, one, two, two three, four, four, five, Quiet! Six. Look, I think what we mean to say is how will this sell microphones? What? Or recorders or expendables or whatever. In short, what can you do for Gotham Sound? Gotham Sound. Yes. yes. You're sure that this is Gotham Sound? Yes. yes. There's not even a tiny little chance these are the offices of the Gotham TV show, 8 p.m. 7 Central? No. no. I see them. Good day. Also, you stole that opening from DOA. It's cold and alive, Philistine. Okay, thank you, Jared. Um, well done. Well done. So, so what were some of the issues that we heard? Uh, it was definitely really hollow. Um, you can hear, I mean, that's, that's basically it. It sounds really hollow. Not everybody has a good, crisp uh, sound unless they're kind of talking down like this, which I did notice a few people were doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what did you notice? Uh, I noticed that it would probably be um, just as good with an on-camera microphone. <laughs> that five, remember, lobs are omnidirectional, so five omnidirectional. Mike scattered throughout the room, um, left full. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna. There's some. There's lots of room in there. Yeah, and I will say that for a uh, sound company, our conference room is quite live. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like we picked the exact wrong dimensions. Yeah, and then all hard materials. We will not be recording any uh, ADR in there anytime that's soon. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um, so, Peter, are you ready for your trial by fire? Uh, totally not. Okay. Okay, so um, this is, uh, and I think it's important to talk about some of the prep. Yeah, okay. Um, this is my attempt to uh, mix more or less um, by hand. Um, can you see that in that camera, Jared? Okay, right. great. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, I hope so, but um, I have sides here. Um, I'm going to pretend that this is live happening. Um, I've attempted to um, highlight each character uh, with a different color. Um, and where there's kind of overlaps, I've tried to make some notes. Um, I don't have five different, six different uh, highlighter colors, so not everything gets its own color. But the idea is that you start to see patterns. So like the first pattern I see is that pretty much um, I'm gonna have to leave the interloper at least um, partially the way up um, the whole time. The interloper is always um, interrupting. Um, and so it would be, you know, that'll save me one finger move. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously um, in a shot like this, uh, I would hope for coverage and, and things like that. Um, other things that I would have done slightly differently is, um, for me, uh, assuming that not all character names would be one, five, two, et cetera, um, I would put the first couple of cues in order of the board. Um, but that's not the case here, so. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay. All right. All right. So my first cue is one and interloper and five and interloper is kind of hot. So we're going to go like that. Okay. And action. And that's the last of the live streams for this month. So turning to the website. Hey guys. Hi. Sorry Can I'm I? Late. Thanks for coming. Uh, what, what are these? Future Gotham. Now if I can get you to read the stage directions. What? Great. Uh, it is a dark and stormy night. A man, looking sick and pale, stumbles into the police station. That's you, and you'll be the death sergeant. I'd like to report a murder. Yeah? Whose? Mine. The man falls to the ground, all gasp. <gasps> I don't really see what this has to do Quiet, with... Quiet, I want to see what happens. And where do they all come from? Last I knew there were just two guys in there, and one of them just collapsed. Lightning crashes. Smash cut, cut to, to opening, opening titles. titles. Eh? Will that put butts in front of screens or what? That's great, but... But what? 
my character feels underdeveloped. What? It's just that he's in front of a desk at a police station. Hey, and he's probably seen one of those guys. Character I mean, growth. really, I've some been there things, for you know, a, but a teaser, teaser and I'm dead. I said like seven words. To one, two, three, four, five, Quiet. six. Quiet. Look, I think what we mean to say is how will this sell microphones? What? Or recorders or expendables or whatever. In short, what can you do for Gotham Sound? Gotham Sound. Yes. yes. You're sure that this is Gotham Sound? Yes. yes. There's not even a tiny little chance these are the offices of the Gotham TV show, 8 p.m. 7 Central? No. no. I see that. Good day. Also, you stole that opening from DOA. It's called an homage, Philistine. <laughs> okay. All right, slightly better. I pity the poor sound editor that might have to cut into that, but... Not too uh, bad. Yeah, all right. Um, so one problem I see with you as an auto mixer is that there's <laughs> no way we could cram you into a board, even of this size. Uh -huh. uh, I feel like you also might be, require more maintenance, food, sleep, uh, I, the whole Yeah, thing. my whole vegan thing would drive everybody <laughs> nuts. Um, all right, so that was a human, you know, arguably if, that were, if I had take three or take four, right. I might get a little more refined, but it gives a good enough uh, impression. Um, let's switch over to Automix. So to do that, and can you guys see the Yamaha screen? Good, okay. Um, we're gonna go into Auto on the first um, six uh, inputs. And I think, um, I think what we ought to do, I don't know, I'm gonna throw this out to the tech people in the room here, the at-risk, tech-savvy at-risk youth in the room. Mm -hmm. um, it's my, <laughs> it's my homage to Dan Savage. Um, I'm going to put less weight onto the interloper. Okay. He's a, got, Jared's got a big voice, so I think we'll try that. Oh yeah, so just touch it and then uh, 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 tap it. Touch, tap, tap it. touch. Tap it. There, there we, we go. go. And tap then it. you can turn oh, this right, down. Right, right, right. How much less weight would you like? Uh, let's do three. three? Let's do okay. three. Yeah. And I was thinking maybe we should do a tiny bit more weight on four because I think Will is a little bit quiet. Yep. Agreed. There we go. All right, good. Like one and a half. All right. Okay. Um, and so Unity on the faders again. Yep. Uh, so there we go. Okay. All right. So do, do your thing. Here comes the Dugan Auto Mixer on the Yamaha. And that's the last of the live streams for this month. So turn it to the website. Hey guys. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Thanks for coming. Uh, what, what are these? Future Gotham. Now, if I can just get you to read the stage directions. What? Great. Uh, it is a dark and stormy night. A man, looking sick and pale, stumbles into the police station. That's you. And you be the death sergeant. I'd like to report a murder. Yeah? Whose? Mine. The man falls to the ground, all gasp. <gasps> I don't really see what this has to do Why? with... Why? I want to see what happens. And where do they all come from? Last I knew there were just two guys in there and one of them just collapsed. Lightning crashes. Smash cut, cut to, to opening, opening titles. titles. Eh? Will that put butts in front of screens or what? That's great, but... But what? My character feels underdeveloped. What? It's just that he's in front of a desk at a police station. Hey, he's at probably least you have a room for character I mean, growth. Really, I've been things, there for you know, a but teaser and I'm dead. dead. I said like passion. seven words. Two One, two, three, four, distress. five, Quiet. six. Quiet! Look, I think what we mean to say is how will this sell microphones? What? Or recorders or expendables or whatever. In short, what can you do for Gotham Sound? Gotham Sound. Yes. yes. You're sure that this is Gotham Sound? Yes. yes. There's not even a tiny little chance these are the offices of the Gotham TV show, 8 p.m. 7 Central? No. no. I see that. Good day. Also, you stole that opening from DOA. It's called an homage, Philistine. Okay. All right. Um, well, that was, that, was, that was pretty interesting. I think um, uh, five or uh, will. Um, as we, as four. We, uh, wait. Yeah, Chris is five. Oh, four. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, would, yes, four. Uh, Will I thought was a little. His voice could have used a little a more. A little more yeah. weight. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but otherwise, uh, I think everybody else sounded pretty decent. Um, yeah, I agree. You know, the. 
big problem I have with this scene in general is the yeah. acting of the person at the head of the table. Well, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. pretty awful. Yeah, I think we're all going to be fired after this. Uh, I, I quit. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, so so let's let's check out the sound devices implementation of the same thing. Of the same thing. Perfect. Okay, so uh, we'll just reposition. Um, uh -huh. Joe's getting a new shot of the uh, of the 688, uh, so we can see the meters. Um, but basically, and Joe, let me know when you've got that. You're good? Okay, so uh, basically to turn on the auto mixer, um, there is, you go into the menu, and you go to the auto mixer mode, and then you have the ability to select what you want, what kind of auto mixer you want, off, Dugan, or mix assist. So we'll go with Dugan for now. The other thing that you can do that's interesting, and, and the, you know, this is why the auto mixer is not it's not a replacement, is that there are so many different tricks, like not only doing the weight, but if there's one person that's more important, you can just take them out of the mix assist, you know, out of the Dugan, and just yeah. have their mic live and by the way, the time. that's one thing we could have um, done here. I, mm -hmm. You know, we talked about weight, but I, I, for the purpose of our test, I wanted to keep the faders yep. at Unity, mm -hmm. but I could have just done that. I don't know if you can see that, Joe. Yep. Um, I could have just, you know, moved uh, Will or Four's fader higher. Yep. And it would have automatically um, sort of been fed into the to the algorithm and, and um, had more gain. Right, and that's kind of like uh, that's almost like increasing the weight um, just by changing the fader. Yeah, level. yeah. I mean, I wanted to keep it at Unity, but I think that obviously would have been easier. And had this been a take like a take one situation, I would mm -hmm. have said, "Oh, right, I need to do that." And that all of this stuff that we're describing mm -hmm. is why there is no um, like. N as the sound person, we're not going to go to craft service in the middle of the take. Like we have to be here. It's an algorithm. We. It's a tool. It's you know, it's it's. Uh, we need to be in charge of it. So. True. And I mean, craft service should really be set up right here. Well, anyway, my right. opinion. Um, okay. So now that we've got the Dugan engaged, we can see we've got these little purple, uh, you know, purple thingies, purple, <laughs> purple circles. <laughs> Um, normally a bad sign. <laughs> right, normally bad. In this sign. case, yeah. uh -huh. so um, what that means is just having uh, is the larger the purple circle is, uh, the more open that channel is. That's the way I read that. Huh. Uh, you'll notice that when the scene starts, it changes. Oh. So if we can, we'll start the scene. We should definitely cut back and to see how that. The Yamaha is totally out of the equation at this point. Yeah, Paul, it's out. Okay, great. Uh, all right, great. So um, one thing to note is that I have done some messing with things. I had I had an opportunity to uh -huh. do a little, however, uh -huh. um, to change the weight a little bit, to change the input levels, to make this a little bit better. Well, how so? How do you change the weight if there's no oh, weight setting? So um, you could use the faders. Uh -huh. uh, and in this instance, because it was something that was pre-recorded, uh, I adjusted the input gain to kind of make everything balanced, so that everything was coming in at about the same level rather than just having things at zero. I could change it back also. If no, no, but, more. but I think it's important to, to let people know that that's a, a part of this process. Just like this is a part of the process of the old way, um, you know, sort of balancing the levels um, so it hits the algorithm roughly the same way right. um, is an important part of prep. Right, because if, I mean, if your trims aren't set right, not only are your ISO track's going to be completely messed up, but your auto mix isn't going to work very well. Right, it's not a magic wand. Right. Should be, but all right. Uh, so anyway, 688 Dugan Mix Assist or Auto Mix. There we go. And that's the last of the live streams for this month. So turning to the website. Hey guys. Hi. Sorry to wait. Thanks for coming. Uh, what what are these? Future Gotham. Now I'm going to get you to read the stage directions. What? Great. Uh, it is a dark and stormy night. A man looking sick and pale stumbles into the police station. That's you, and you be the desk sergeant. I'd like to report a murder. Yeah? Who's? Mine. The man falls to the ground, all gasp. <gasps> I don't really see what this has to do Why? with- Why? I want to see what happens. And where do they all come from? Last I knew they were just two guys in there and one of them just collapsed. Lightning crashes. Smash cut, cut to, to opening titles. Eh? Will that put butts in front of screens or what? That's great, but- But what? My character feels underdeveloped. What? It's just that he's in front of a desk at a police station. Hey, it's at least you have room for character need, growth. Really, I've been in there for you know, a teaser and I'm dead. I said like seven words. To One, two, three, four, five, what? six. Look, I think what we mean to say is how will this sell microphones? What? 
or recorders or expendables or whatever. In short, what can you do for Gotham Sound? Gotham Sound. Yes. You're sure that this is Gotham Sound? Yes. There's not even a tiny little chance these are the offices of the Gotham TV show, 8 p.m. 7 Central? No. I see then. Good day. Also, you stole that opening from DOA. It's called a lie, Philistine! <laughs> okay. So there we go. Um, so what do you say to that? Um, it's, it's interesting. It's stuff, it suffers from, um, I mean, I still think uh, Will is too low. Mm -hmm. I, think, I thought um, Jared um, sounded quieter in, in this pass. Yeah. Um, Jared is the interloper for mm -hmm. those keeping score. Um, but, you know, I think it's close. I think it's a lot closer than human hands doing a f on a first pass. Yep. Um, and I think, you know, given all the noise in the room and the shouting and the acoustics, um, yeah, I mean, I think if we treated the room, if we got rid of the fan noise, um, I think the algorithm would have a much better time. Yeah, true. Um, and also sort of prep the levels going into it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I think one thing that strikes me about the algorithm, especially compared to um, at least the early takes of a mixer, is um, it's much, much more consistent. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my crack about like a sound editor having a tough time cutting into it, um, you know, that's because of late fades, right? Yeah. Um, whereas the algorithm tends to have the, tends to be either um, consistently good or consistently mediocre. And you know there is no adjusting that somebody would have to do other than you know the normal dialogue prep. But there's no like trying to compensate for a crossfade or something like yep. that. Um, yeah, I mean I think it's good. Let's. I'm curious to compare it to um, the Sound Devices implementation of Mix Assist. Okay, so here comes Mix Assist. Again, same thing. Go to the Auto Mixer. This time we're going to change it from Dugan Auto Mix to Mix Assist. Okay. Um, oh, and there is an interesting setting here. Um, and do you, wait, I'm sorry, do you have to turn it off on a bunch of tracks or? No, I didn't turn it off. I, they were all on. Uh -huh. uh, everything was on. But there, there is a setting for Mix Assist where you can change what the Mix Assist off attenuation is. Uh, and I believe that's, that's when the microphone is not open, mm -hmm. just how far it brings it down. Okay. So um, the further down it is, the cleaner the mics that are open are going to sound. Mm -hmm. um, but then, um, you know, the, the more change you'll hear when they actually open up. All right. uh, so we'll leave it at the, at the standard setting, which is 20. Good. See what happens. Okay. So, and you'll notice the circles are now green, mm -hmm. uh, and only input one is open. So when nothing's going, it just picks one to leave open. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right, here we go. And take five. And that's the last of the live streams for this month. So turning to the website. Hey, guys. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Thanks for coming. Uh, what, what are these? Future Gotham. Now, if I can just get you to read the stage directions. What? Great. Uh, it is a dark and stormy night. A man, looking sick and pale, stumbles into the police station. That's you. And you'll be the desk sergeant. I'd like to report a murder. Yeah? Whose? Mine. The man falls to the ground, all gasp. <gasps> I don't really see what this has to do Quiet, with... Quiet, I want to see what happens. And where do they all come from? Last I knew there were just two guys in there and one of them just collapsed. Lightning crashes. Smash cut, cut to, to opening titles. titles. Eh? Will that put butts in front of screens or what? That's great, but... But what? My character feels underdeveloped. What? It's just that he's in front of a desk at a police station. Hey, at least you have room for character I mean, growth. Really, I've been in there for you know, the teaser and I'm dead. I said like seven words. One, one two, two, three, four, five, what? six. Look, I think what we mean to say is how will this sell microphones? What? Or recorders or expendables or whatever. In short, what can you do for Gotham Sound? Gotham Sound. Yes. yes. You're sure that this is Gotham Sound? Yes. There's not even a tiny little chance these are the offices of the Gotham TV show, 8 p.m. 7 Central? No. no. I see then. Good day. Also, you stole that opening from DOA. It's called a lie, Philistine!
All right. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely clamping down on uh, Jared, the interloper. Yeah. Like, you know, I think that, look, if, if, I mean, it's hard to sort of analyze this scene as if there's no, no offense, but, um, you know, if, if this really were dailies, I would want Jared's, um, you know, scream at the end about Philistine mm -hmm. uh, to be loud, and that would be a place where it'd be appropriate to hear the room. And so, you know, I would want a boom in there, and I would want it to sound um, loud, and maybe you could even get that off of a boom right at, you know, right at the door or put a plant mic mm -hmm. on the door. Um, you know, I think there's, in other words, the idea that you can just toss these mics into a bucket and then push a button I think we've categorically ruled out, yeah. regardless of what algorithm you choose. Um, I think to listen to the, you know, the, to my ears, the mix assist sounds slightly heavier handed. It's, yeah, that was what I was gonna say. You really feel it, you know, chop on and chop off. Um, and, and you can even see it too, you know, with these, right. these same lights, you can see it kind of just go and die yep. or turn on really quickly. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, it's, it's interesting. It, um, it, it makes me admire Dan even more. Um, I want to do one more pass, and I just want to um, goose. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Goose, goose some of the levels, and you know, like for example, we know um, who is it? Uh, it is uh, two. We know two mm -hmm. um, is uh, like he's talking right into his lob, so he yeah. doesn't need quite so as we much can bring presence. Him down. Yeah. And I think I'm going to take four out of the mix assist. Uh -huh. That's the guy who's generally quieter. So yeah. I will bring down two. Let's see, I'm bringing two down um, by about, bring them down by about four dB. And we'll just see what happens. All right, so this is uh, take six, mix assist with stuff done to it. And action. And that's the last of the live streams for this month. So turning to the website. Hey guys. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Thanks for coming. Uh, what, what are these? Future Gotham. Now, I'm going to get you to read the stage directions. What? Great. Uh, it is a dark and stormy night. A man, looking sick and pale, stumbles into the police station. That's you. And you be the death sergeant. I'd like to report a murder. Yeah? Whose? Mine. The man falls to the ground, all gasp. <gasps> I don't really see what this has to do Quiet, with... Quiet, I want to see what happens. And where do they all come from? Last I knew they were just two guys in there and one of them just collapsed. Lightning crashes. Smash cut, cut to, to opening, opening titles. Ed, will that put butts in front of screens or what? That's great, but... But what? My character feels underdeveloped. What? It's just that he's in front of a desk at a police station. Hey, he's probably least seen other guys. I mean, growth. really, I've some things, you know, but I think he's react dead. to a I bit said, more like, compassion seven words. to a man who's two, obviously three, in distress. Four, five, Quiet! Six. Look, I think what we mean to say is how will this sell microphones? What? Or recorders or expendables or whatever. In short, what can you do for Gotham Sound? Gotham Sound. Yes. yes. You're sure that this is Gotham Sound? Yes. yes. There's not even a tiny little chance these are the offices of the Gotham TV show, 8 p.m. 7 Central? No. no. I see that. Good day. Also, you stole that opening from DOA. It's called an homage, Philistine. Okay, so there we go. Um, I don't know, I was pretty happy with that. It was all right, yeah. I mean, I, it sounds like uh, Jared or Interloper's limiter on his transmitter. Something's going on with him. I Something's think. going on. He's also away from his mic screaming that way mm. into a giant open room. Uh, with a fan on. With a fan on. Um, so, all right, I, th I think the takeaway is um, that the auto mix requires less sort mm -hmm. of second to second work, but it does require more thoughtfulness. Yeah. Yeah, the Dugan Auto and the Dugan Auto Mix seems smoother, much smoother, uh, much more organic. Whereas the Sound Devices Mix Assist is is very good for yeah. chopping things on and off. Yeah. Um, but either one of them to make them sound even uh, you know sound acceptable require tweaking. Oh yeah, lots yeah. of tweaking. Um, so uh, we did have uh, we'd had someone with a question. Um, Bradley Bernard wanted to know how the Zaxcom Nomad compares to the Sound Devices Mix Assist. Um, 
I, mean, uh, I we think we offline maybe we'll do a pass through and yeah. Yeah, we maybe when we wrap, uh, we'll, we'll put a nomad. And, and yeah, it's an excellent question. Yeah, we got a nomad. So Bradley, we'll, we'll take care of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, other strategies um, that I've used, you know, I did that show that was very much like Playhouse 90, where mm -hmm. it was um, 16 characters or 15 characters mm -hmm. um, coming in and out. And yeah. um, I didn't do it, actually. The, uh, the mixer did it. I, I was the A1 on it. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, I was responsible as the A1 for um, kind of babysitting the algorithm, the automix algorithm. Mm -hmm. And so for that, there were so many entrances and exits, we kind of um, came up with an automatic way of basically doing the equivalent of this, either putting people into manual or muting them if they were off stage. Mm -hmm. um, but just, you know, we showed a little bit last week. Um, and there were plenty of times um, on that show where um, things were put in manual because the uh, the algorithm got tripped up. Mm -hmm. um, and what board were you using there? Oh, I don't, you know, I don't remember. Um, old English board, okay. Channel One had tape on Neve? it. No, Neve? no, 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 I'd, uh, um, Calrec, I think. Uh, anyways. Um, Jason agrees with you about the uh, limiter engaging in Jared's mic, by the yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jared's got a big voice. Who knew? He does. Yeah, he's good. very quiet when he's behind the scenes here. But, um, all right. Well, I think we, we ought to wrap it up. Yeah, I think that, that's a wrap. Um, so uh, Bradley will post something about uh, the Nomads Automix feature. <laughs> um, and thank you for watching. For Gotham Sound, I'm Peter Schneider. <laughs> and I'm Nick Houston. Oh, and uh, next week, <laughs> <laughs> next week, um, next Tuesday, May 31st, uh, some very important information about transporting and shipping lithium batteries. Uh, and that'll be hosted by none other than Joe Malika. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. You can watch this and other videos at vimeo.com and youtube.com. Uh, and if you have any ideas, info at gothamsound.com. Very good. Thanks very much. And that's the last of the live streams for this month, so turn it to the website. Hey guys! Hi! Sorry I'm late. Thanks for coming. Uh, what, what are these? Future Gotham. Now, if I can just get you to read the stage directions. What? Great. Uh, it is a dark and stormy night. A man, looking sick and pale, stumbles into the police station. That's you. And you be the death sergeant. I'd like to report a murder. Yeah? Who's? Mine. The man falls to the ground. All gasp. <gasps> I don't really see what this has to do Quiet, with... Quiet, I want to see what happens. And where do they all come from? Last I knew they were just two guys in there and one of them just collapsed. Lightning crashes. Smash cut, cut to, to opening, opening titles. titles. Ed, will that put butts in front of screens or what? That's great, but... But what? My character feels underdeveloped. What? It's just that he's in front of a desk at a police station. Hey, it's at probably least you have a room for character growth. Really, I've been there for you know, the teaser and I'm dead. dead. I said like seven words. Two One, two, three, three four, four, five, Quiet. six. Look, I think what we mean to say is how will this sell microphones? What? Or recorders or expendables or whatever. In short, what can you do for Gotham Sound? Gotham Sound. Yes. yes. You're sure that this is Gotham Sound? Yes. yes. There's not even a tiny little chance these are the offices of the Gotham TV show, 8 p.m., 7 central? No. no. I see that. Good day. Also, you stole that opening from DOA. It's cold and alive, Philistine!